bringing you the latest news from Bucks County. This is the Courier Times Update with Rachel Cannell. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Rachel Cannelli reporting from the Courier Times newsroom with your news update for Friday, March 1st. We begin right now with a plea from two different police departments in finding two men for two separate robberies. Bristol Township Police are looking for a man who robbed the big lots on Durham Road at gunpoint. He reportedly displayed a silver semi-automatic handgun. The suspect is described as a white male in his mid to late 20s with dark hair and dark facial hair. He was wearing a black bandana over his forehead with a dark gray sweatshirt, light gray sweatpants and a large backpack. The man took an undetermined amount of cash. Police believe he was riding a bicycle. No one was injured. Anyone with information is asked to call the anonymous crime tip line at 215-788-8289. Reporter Joe Chevalier has more details in a story at BucksCountyCourierTimes.com. And reporter Danny Adler tells us in a story on our website that Middletown police are searching for a man who threatened to shoot the clerk at the 7-Eleven at New Falls Road and Veterans Highway. The man said he had a gun but did not display the weapon. He got a small amount of cash from the register. The suspect was also wearing a dark gray sweatshirt with light gray sweatpants. Anyone with information is urged to call detectives at 215-750-3845. The parents of an eight-month-old boy who died after ingesting heroin in a Ben Salem motel room have been sent to prison. Thomas Krolikowski and Colin Gallagher pleaded guilty to charges of child endangerment and drug possession. Gallagher was sentenced to 9 to 23 months and a year probation. Krolikowski was already on probation on theft charges. He was sentenced to one to two years in a state prison and two years probation. Courts reporter Lori Mason Schrader has more online about their emotional reaction. A Yardley chiropractor who's accused of sexually assaulting a 69-year-old woman during a massage told a Bucks County jury Thursday that the woman gave him verbal and physical cues suggesting that she wanted more. Matthew Lieber is charged with aggravated indecent assault. The woman says she was not interested and told him to stop. If convicted, Lieber could face more than a year in prison. Lori has the full testimony in a story on our website. We started off the day sunny, but it will be mostly cloudy with a high near 45. We will see some breaks of sunshine, and tonight we'll see a low of 31. We could see some light rain or snow tomorrow. The temperatures will be a little cooler, only up to 42. The sun should be back Sunday, but it will be even colder with a high near 40. Would you say these pigs are spoiled rotten? Some might, and that's why the pigs at the Pig Spa at Ross Mill Farm in Warwick are being featured in Nat Geo's upcoming show, Spoiled Rotten Pets. Reporter Kimberly Flanders talked to the owner for a video at BucksCountyCourierTimes.com about the full treatment the pigs get during their stay, including a bath and body scrub. We have a couple of customers that Nat Geo Wild was particularly interested in who come here all the time, and they love getting their baths. And so they brought Wilma and pebbles uh, to the spa and it was an, a, a fun time. Yes, they don't seem to mind at all if the camera's in their face as long as there's food on the ground. Their yeah. tails wag and that's kind of a sign of contentment, <laughs> happiness. Their tails go all the time. The spa pigs aren't the only Bucks County animals appearing on the show. You may remember Chico and Fiona, those two dogs who had a wedding reception at Doylestown Dog Park in October. They will also be featured. Happening this weekend, concerned gun owners of Bucks County are holding a gun rally Saturday in Doylestown. The event is to show public support for the Second Amendment. The group met with the Courier Times editorial board this week to promote armed security guards in schools. Reporter Marion Callahan has the video on our website. What we're saying is we need to put armed guards in schools to protect our children. Basically, if you notice, any of these, uh, any of these mask uh, murders that have occurred have occurred in instances where they have been well advertised that this is a gun-free zone. So obviously all of these people that have committed these atrocious acts have gone into areas where they know that they will not get any response. Reporter Christina Christofik will be covering that event. Also happening this weekend, the annual Philadelphia Flower Show opens Saturday at the Pennsylvania Convention Center, and we've got all the details in a story by Gwen Schrift with video from Kim Weimer online. My name is Hillary Byrne. I'm a senior at Delaware Valley College, and the theme for the Philadelphia Flower Show this year is England. So for ours, we chose to do something with Sherlock Holmes, where we're teaching everybody about the danger of invasive species 
whether it be plants or trees, and we're just doing a lot of construction. In high school sports, the Boys and Girls District 1 Swimming Championships are underway at LaSalle University, and some of our local swimmers are making a big splash. Alexa Fabry of Villa Joseph Marie won the Class AA 100 fly. CR North junior Tommy DeLeon swam a meet record time in the girls' 200-yard freestyle. And the CR North boys swim team also had a memorable day. The team's foursome of Jake Garashko, Jeff Booty, Steve Sakula, and Brandon McCready won the 200-yard freestyle relay. Reporter Karen Sangillo and photographer Rick Kinsel have all the results in a story with photos and video at BucksCountyCourierTimes.com. The meet concludes today and we'll have more coverage. The Class AAA Southeast Regional Wrestling Finals are this weekend. Sports writers Tom Waring and Drew Markle tell you who to watch, including Ryan O'Connor from Neshaminy and Central Bucks South's Dom Regis. And we'll also be covering the boys' Class AAA PIAA Basketball Finals at the Pavilion in Villanova, so be sure to look for updates on that and wrestling on our website. Now here's a look at what we're working on in the newsroom. As the debate over gay and lesbian rights continues throughout Pennsylvania, the sixth annual National LGBT Wedding Expo will stop at the suites at Hilton in Newtown tomorrow. We'll be there for all the action. St. Mark Catholic School in Bristol is celebrating its 125th anniversary with a mass at 5 p.m. tomorrow, followed by a gala at 6 p.m. at the Canal Works on Canal Street. Hema Duarte has a story about the school's history online today, and we'll be covering tomorrow's celebration. And finally, reporter Christina Christofik will be covering a love story about a couple that went on dates at the County Theater, even got engaged there, and tomorrow they'll get married there. We'll have a story with photos by Kim Weimer. You can find all of these stories and the latest local news at BucksCountyCourierTimes.com. I'm Rachel Canelli. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend. More than a million meals have been served here at the Bucks County Emergency Homeless Shelter. Like any other home, this kitchen is the heart of this shelter, and it's in desperate need of some long overdue TLC. That's why Family Service Association, Comcast, The Courier Times, and Intelligencer newspapers are teaming up in a campaign asking you, Bucks County, to buck up. There will be collection boxes all across the county, so buck up, Bucks County. Let's take care of the heart of this shelter together so they can cook and serve a million more meals to those in need.